This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. Hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I review the 2019 Open Range 3X 387RBS. Hope you like this video. I shot this video at Explorer USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. I'd like to thank all the wonderful salesmen down there for being very generous to me and being very nice. Here's the receptacles for your AC. And of course, they have some uh, plugs there for your antenna. There's the steps to get in. And uh, these are the, they have two different types of steps. This is the certain brand of steps and they have the uh, more generic steps over here but they're very high quality they're aluminum open range offers a three-year limited structural warranty and they have a device inside that helps you uh, get better Wi-Fi a very good thing this is four season rated and has a Kia like system again that's a triple X 387 RBS and they have a get in by pressing those buttons. Hopefully you remember your numbers, that's critical. This has a drop chassis if I remember correctly. This is the uh, exhaust for the Dometic heater. And this is their uh, pass-through storage and it's quite extensive. I'll show you the other side in a couple minutes. On this side, they have two, count them, two propane tanks, two 20 pounders. And on the other side, they have uh, just one. So they have uh, 60 pounds of propane. That's a reflector, very important. And this thing's ready for your uh, solar charging uh, suitcase. And there's the plug, the receptacle. It's a very unique receptacle for Furion. I had a bit of a hard time opening it up. But you can get little adapters. Uh, they're available online and stuff like that and from the different manufacturers that sell the panels Yes, I've seen many full-timers fill that bay with all kinds of great great stuff so they can extend their boondocking There's a strip of LED lights uh, Makes the rig look very very nice and of course has a very nice uh, fiberglass front end cap this is a rather large unit. I think it's 41 feet, if I remember correctly. It has three slides on this side and two on the other. Of course, that pin box is rather generic. I would think if you would try to upgrade that, but then again, maybe you might not. Again, you can pause this video to look at these uh, specs here. Let me open up and uh, show you the poor paint tank on this side. Up. And right here is the pass-through storage. Very, very important for all you full-timers. You need to have that storage to put all your goodies. And right to the left is the uh, controls for the uh, auto level. And up there is the uh, Santrix inverter and the shutoff switch. And they give you one light. A lot of modern uh, Contemporary designs have a, a strip of lights, but this just has one. Slam latches, and they're solid metal. They're not plastic, they're not cheap, so they're very high quality. Again, this uh, unit is rated for four seasons. It's triple insulated, as they say, at uh, open range. Some receptacles there and different switches for different times of the season that you can turn up or turn down. It has an outside shower and a fresh water connection and two black tank flushes. That's where you can pour your hoses, not pour your hoses, but stuff your hoses down that uh, little opening. 
place for your sewer hose. You don't want to keep it in the bedroom for sure. And there's a little reflector. Here's underneath the uh, unit. You can see uh, the construction, the drop frame, and also uh, the support system and the wheels. Here's right above that. And they have this little uh, paper board uh, protecting what's right behind it. I guess you can, and it shows you what to do when you get there. Apparently some important stuff back there. I do not know. It's a question for your salesman or the folks at Open Range. That's plastic. A lot of uh, more contemporary designs have uh, magnetic latches, but I guess Open Range said no way Jose this time around. So you have jealousy windows and you have those uh, windows on the side, typical of a lot of RVs that open up a little larger so you can get a nice cross breeze, especially in the fall and in the spring when the weather is cooperating. Let's go to the other slide. Let's take a peek under there. More uh, jacks and a spare tire in the dump fells. Here's a close-up of the jack. Very high quality. And the spare tire. There's another dump fell right there. I think it's a gray. Side windows on uh, that uh, slide. Nice Westlake tires. And of course, Ecoflex. It's an upgraded suspension. These tires are ST235 dash hyphen slash 80 R16. Pretty good tires. Not the best, but very good. And then I'm going to open these uh, slam latches and see what's behind here. I think there's a storage. Yeah, it's carpeted storage. So we can put some important items that need to be protected. Here's the view from the other side. Very nice. Look at those latches. Solid metal. They're not plastic. Everything's well built. There's the 50 amp connection. Of course, a lot of more uh, upscale versions of the uh, fifth wheels have, uh, you know, take up reels that are motorized. It'll take up your 50 amp cord. That's a pretty heavy cord. And here's your uh, dump valves. Here's a view from the other side. This has a ladder that goes on the roof. I did go on the roof. At the tail end of this video, I'm going to show you what's on the roof. Here's the back side. It has three uh, on this side and two on the other. Very nice. Don't forget you have to contact your salesman to ask more questions if you have uh, you know, issues uh, uh, that say, Hey man, I, I need something bigger or I need something smaller. I need something lighter. I need something in red. I need something in whatever color you want. And those are those uh, steps. Very nice step. And that's a gigantic window over there by the dining room and by the dining table. Nice little handle to get inside. So where are the, uh, all the different controls for the slides and some of the lights and odds and ends and your tanks, check what your tanks are up to. Some units, uh, more contemporary designs again, are have uh, digital displays that dis you know, dis show everything. Uh, it makes it a lot simpler. So, But this is uh, still good. Again, this is a mid-range unit. This is not a top-of-the-line unit. At, uh, at this dealership, they have units that go for 200000 This one only goes, I think, for 76000 So. For $120,000, $30,000 more, you get something really nice. There's a digital display. I don't know what it does because I couldn't turn it on. There's the switches for the light and above it is the heater and air conditioner controls. And they have another set right on the other side. Let me play with the walls. There it is. Another Dometic controls. And again, like I said, you have two sets. Let me play with the lights. Yeah, I enjoy playing with the lights. I'm still a kid at heart. So what do you think of the bedspread and the pillows? It's a good size uh, bedroom. For 
some photographs I took of the interior. It has a tiny, tiny little uh, table on each side, a little area where you can put your items. No end tables on this unit, but they do have a small chest of drawers at the uh, foot of the bed. And uh, these uh, the surround for the TV's composite, and also the top of this uh, dresser drawer is composite material, you know, plastic plus wood, all kinds of stuff. But these drawers are very nice. They're uh, plywood, metal glides, with solid wood fronts. Excellent. Very good. But the uh, top of the drawer, uh, that's just composite with plastic on top. Nothing special about that. That's the escape window above there. And um, under the bed, you can put all kinds of great stuff, huh? You can put all your linens and pillows or whatever items you want to put down. It's your choice. Fifth wheels are basically designed for people who have a lot of stuff and want to take it with them. They're basically rolling houses. These and Class A's are the, the way that uh, full-timers uh, get out and live their life on the road. That's a sealed membrane uh, countertop, so it's definitely waterproof, pretty good. It's not as good as, uh, you know, solid surface, but it's definitely better than T-molded. I still see some T-molded uh, countertops in the market, definitely in the lower end brands. This is some of the largest spaces I've ever seen <laughs> in a medicine cabinet in quite a while. It must be about two and a half feet across. And this mirror, of course, it shows how ugly I am. There I am with my camera. There's a cabinet on the right. A lot of shelves. A lot of people, manufacturers cheap out uh, by uh, not giving you a lot of shelves. This place gives you a lot of shelves. I'm just playing with the, you know, just showing there the uh, vinyl wrap that they use, like on these styles there, they use vinyl wrap. Basically, it's a particle board wrapped in plastic. So you get a lot of storage here for your towels, your linens, uh, whatever you want to put there, you can put there. Nice hinges, good quality doors. Towel rack. And this is one of the best shower surrounds I've seen in a long time. Outside of something that I made out of Corian or marble. This is solid fiberglass and a thick fiberglass. Excellent, I give it an A+. I tried to, you know, test it out and it was solid. It was very solid. I've seen a lot of poor quality shower surrounds lately. And there's a view from the bedroom of the bathroom. And here's a shot of the valances. Hope you like those valances. And there's a shot of the door. I'm going to go back into the kitchen to the right. Solid surface countertops throughout the kitchen. So. Very high quality, very high quality. Stainless steel uh, sink, again, very nice. Can't complain about that, huh? And uh, you know, faucet that you, know, you can spray. The sprayer can go anywhere you want. There's a stainless steel even front for the sink. And there's the dining table on in the slide. So what do you think of this uh, fifth wheel? Again, I consider this a mid-range unit. It was currently priced at $73,744. They have less expensive ones at uh, Explore USA RV Supercenter, and they have more expensive ones, definitely more expensive. You can spend $130,000 more and get something super, super well-built and super nice. Porcelain toilet, and this is the, the half bath with a sink and a toilet and all kinds of receptacles and I'm gonna play with the lights, of course. I'm gonna play with the lights. I have to play with the lights, there we go. <laughs> and you can control the fan right there. I originally shot this video and I did a narration, but my narration was horrific. I just kept on yammering forever. <laughs> uh, so I had to take it off YouTube and I'm, gonna, and I'm replacing it with this one. I hope you like this one better. If I get a lot of uh, thumbs down, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. So I tried to fix my mistake. So there's another very large medicine cabinet. I like it. An area for your towel. Very nice. Again, I say very nice. 
That's my uh, catchphrase. Very nice. I guess I should come up with a new one, huh? And that's a side area there. And uh, that's, again, solid surface countertops. Plenty of storage above it and below it. As this backsplash, this, uh, I think it's a plastic backsplash. Looks like corrugated metal. And they, I think they glued it on. And it was, needed to be uh, glued on a little bit better because it was coming loose in certain parts. I do love those handles. See? Beautifully done. Again, the more expensive models would have styles made of solid wood. You know, solid wood, not this uh, particle board covered with uh, plastic wrap. There I am playing with that. And it's a little bit loose, but you can always glue it a little, use some super glue or whatever kind of gorilla glue that you have and make sure it doesn't move anymore. A little light under it. And you get a little clock. My wife would love that clock. She just bought a new clock for her office, home office, and she really loves it. There's the convection microwave. I really like how it looks inside. It sort of has a diamond sheen to it. Look at that. It sparkles. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm so easily impressed, huh? So that's a good size uh, convection microwave. Here's a wide shot with the center island and uh, different countertops. You can have a buffet on both sides storage above and of course this cast iron grate on top gotta love it this is again very nice has a new furion stove a good size stove and they have this little area below it i've noticed it on the 2019 models that they have this little i don't know if it's a warming tray or just a storage area again this is a question for your salesman ask them questions this is just an introduction, so you at least know a little bit of what to ask. You know, like, I don't know about that. I like that. It's a pull-out pantry. And again, I'm going to show you where the sticker wrap is. I have a thing against sticker wrap, but you know, probably the next travel trailer I buy is going to have tons of sticker wrap. So. You get what you pay for. So that's a, you see the white part down there, that light part, that's uh, compass, you know, that board, and then they wrap it with that sticker wrap, that fake wood looking wrap, and then it looks very nice. Solid wood fronts, nice metal handles, and uh, a portion of it was plywood. And this area has a lot of storage. One, two, three, four, and there go back a long ways in this island. Very, very nice. For you full-timers, you definitely need something that uh, gives you a lot of space to put stuff. Because you're going to be living out there. You don't want to, at, either at your RV resorts in the middle of, or in the middle of the Arizona de desert just boondocking. You need something nice. That's a side panel, an example of the side panel. That's thick, huh? Three inches, I think that is. That's why they call it the triple X. And here's some odds and ends. Looks like some uh, bits for a screwdriver. I don't know what that's for. But another question for the salesman or saleswoman. Here's the other area with the uh, you can store stuff. I'm currently in the market for something a lot cheaper than this and a lot lighter than this. My truck can only tow 7,000 pounds. This thing is a little bit heavier. So this has blackout shades and uh, darkening shades. You know, that's definitely positive. Keeps things from uh, fading and also keeps out the bright lights. You know, somewhere that has a lot of sun. Solid wood tabletop and chairs. I like it. Four chairs. And the slides are not carpeted, so you have no carpet in the slides. But you have carpet up here in the entertainment area. This is standard design for entertainment areas. I'm, 
it seems like every unit I see has this design, but there's different qualities of materials and different qualities of chairs. This is a mid-range quality chair. It's somewhere between a leather and a plastic. It's sort of like a Nagahide feel. Uh, you know, again, you get what you pay for. If you want that $200,000 uh, fifth wheel, you're gonna get leather. You're gonna get something nice. So that's a big screen. I think it's a 55 incher. It has a fireplace, so keep yourself a little bit toasty, so it won't be f freezing up there. Nice little background for the uh, for the for the fireplace. This TV has speakers on both sides. These Furion bars, one's on each side, and of course has a Furion head unit that you can. Uh, play with and enjoy. Plays DVDs. Doesn't play any Blu-rays. So again, it's two generations back. Right now we're at 4K UHD and previously was you know, Blu-ray and then this is before that. This is just DVD. So this is, you know, it's cheap technology. You can get a DVD player now for like 20 bucks. That's a sofa. And this is a Fantastic or a Max Airfane. I do not know. So this unit uh, I saw at Explore USA RV Super Center in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. On the roof you have two air conditioners and I didn't see any air conditioning bulges inside. Thank you for checking out my video. This has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.